Hello everybody, Crimson Buddhist here. So we're doing podcast number six, seven, seven, seven six. Maybe. I can't count. Nine. You'll just read the title. It'll be in the title. So I'm joined today by Aaron. Uh, and Adam isn't joining us today again because he has girlfriend things to do or something. Girlfriend Starting milk, topic. Yeah. Milk is Starting topic. Us, uh, milk is so freaking cute. And second topic is um, you and your situation now. You're single, right? Oh, I am single. Me and my girlfriend broke up, kind of on accident. I was going to anyway, but it happened before I was actually intending. I think you should tell that story because it's a little bit funny. Okay. Like, um, you're going to, yeah. All right, so I was planning on breaking up with her today and in person. And yesterday I was, like, trying to, I was, I was trying to, like, give her signs that things weren't, like, 100% okay because, you know, everyone hates it whenever you act normal the day before, and you act like everything's perfectly fine, and then the next day you're like, oh, by the way, BTW, breaking up with you. I was kind of showing some signs of disinterest, and she just starts drilling me with all these questions, and she's like, do you love me? And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so she flips Wait. out and then says we're over, and I'm like, that's, that's fine. And, uh... Yeah. We're, we're over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's really like, I was, she was like, we're over. And I'm like, okay, sorry. There was really, there was one moment where I could have become a humongous asshole, but I didn't. She texted me and she said, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to go back to work with my eyes swollen shut from crying. And my first thought was, your eyes are clearly not swollen shut because you're perfectly capable of reading. Maybe she was just guessing at what you were saying. She she just guessed at everything <laughs> yeah, correctly and read. typed with no typos. Nope. She's pretty good. She's good. She's talented. You you lost something great there. Yeah, that, <laughs> I lost something amazing. Uh, she was pretty nice though. You said right. Yeah, she was a really good person. That's what made it kind of suck doing it. But like, she was nice and sweet and everything. Just not really. My God, that's kind of a funny breakup. It just, it just it just worked out. You love weird. me? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're over. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Um. So I was gonna talk about whenever I was a kid, some weird things that I did. I thought you guys could join in with some of your weird things. So I'm not so weird. Two things that I did whenever I was really little, and I don't really know why. One was uh okay. So whenever I was in the was it third third grade, something like that, I no fourth grade. I went outside when I wasn't supposed to. It was like summer and my mom wasn't home and we lived in the fucking ghetto, so I wasn't allowed to go outside. And uh, <laughs> I was like, fuck that, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. So I went outside and was like riding my bike with them or something. And my sister was there too. She's a few years older than me. And uh, I don't know, we were just both outside hanging out with her friends. And then all of a sudden, like, I was racing one of my friends like, and looking at him. And then my other friend was in front of me and I didn't notice. So like, I ran straight into him with my bike and like, I flipped over the front of my handlebars, and, like, his handlebars hit my hand in a way that it, like, smashed my pinky, and it broke it. So, immediately, we just, like, went inside, and I think we called my dad first, since my parents were divorced, so he came over and looked at it. And then, uh, we just told everybody that I slammed it in the door, because we weren't allowed to go outside. And, uh, yeah, so, (laughs) for one... They believed us. What the Such fuck was that? Such a hard ass. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then... Smash my pinky in the ghetto. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. Better than that, we went like to the doctor to get it checked out, and they're like, yeah, it's broken. How did it happen? And then my mom was like, he slammed it in the door. So it just looks like my mom like <laughs> broke my pinky or something like that. <laughs> the doctor was like, uh, okay. <laughs> it was so awesome. But um, anyway, because of that, like a few years later... I thought that, like, I didn't want to tell my mom that I uh, broke my finger by riding my bike outside when I wasn't supposed to, because I thought she'd just, like, ground me or something. So what I did was, like, I grounded myself from things. Like, I wouldn't play Xbox or something. I don't know how long that lasted. It was I thought it lasted, like, a month, but it probably lasted, like, a few days. I don't know. I just thought that that was kind of weird that uh, you grounded I yourself? grounded myself. I and then my the whole friend... point was to not get grounded. I know, isn't that kind of weird? I don't know why. That, I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It didn't, make, it didn't make sense at all. I did that in like sixth or seventh grade, maybe. <laughs> so it, was, <laughs> it was weird. I don't know why I decided to uh, do that. And then my other story, really quickly. Oh, by the way, my friends at the time were just like, "Wow, you're fucking retarded. What are you doing?" 
Like, seriously? <laughs> Why can't we just play Xbox? <laughs> Dude, I'm grounded. <laughs> did you tell other people you were grounded, like your mom grounded you, or did you just say you, were, you grounded yourself? I think, like, the friends that I hung out with all the time, like, I told them that I grounded myself. But I think that was, like, two people at the time. So. The fuck were you thinking? I don't know, man. It's just too good of a kid, I guess. Um, and then the other thing was, so... I think it was fourth or fifth grade that I, I don't know, something happened. I didn't, <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't get all A's or something. I don't remember what it was. Like my grades weren't as well as I wanted to, them to be. So my thought was like, why can't I remember all this information? And it wasn't like I didn't come to the conclusion like maybe I should you know study more or something. I mean it's fifth grade anyway, but like maybe I should look into this a little more. Maybe I should practice more problems or something. My immediate, for some reason, my immediate reaction was, I know lyrics to all these songs. I should stop listening to music. So I stopped listening to music, bro. Like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? I stopped listening to music for a few months or something. And like, I don't know. There's a lot of things around music that I did a lot differently than other people. Like my, sis my sister would have it up to like, let's say volume 15. And that's like a normal... Yeah. listening level and like I'd be like turn it down I don't want to lose my hearing or something and I'm like really young at this time and I'm already concerned about that or something I don't know it's really weird. the fuck yeah so I stopped listening to music at one point and all the other time it was really quiet I have had that thought process before with like games not necessarily I don't think it's about grades but just why can't I remember people's names and I'm like like well I remember all the stupid shit about games <laughs> I can still run through the first like two discs of Final Fantasy 7 even though I haven't played it in like 10 years or actually it's been like eight. I thought that going to school like why can't I mem remember every game I play but I can't remember shit in school <laughs> clearly one matters and one doesn't clearly um Dude, have, I ever told, have I ever told the vibrator story on here? No. What the fuck? Remember? Sounds exciting, though. Uh, stimulating. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause every I think every time I've told it, I've always told it when we're not on the podcast, and you're always like, I need to say it on the podcast. Okay, say All it on the podcast, then. Podcast listeners, get excited. All right, so whenever I was in sixth grade, you know, new to sixth grade, and you have all the schools, like, uh, there's several different elementary schools. They all feed up to the same middle school. And so, oh, a yeah. lot of new people. For uh, a lot of different areas are different. Here it's uh, K through 5, and then you go to 6th grade at a different school, yeah. where you combine with another elementary school. So or make two, middle school. Or 3. Yeah. <laughs> so then you go 6 or 8 there. Anyway, continue. So, 6th uh, grade, and I, like, you know, I'm trying to meet new friends and stuff, and I don't know who all's in my lunch group, because they had, like, different, they had so many people and not a big enough cafeteria, so there was, like, different lunch groups. So... I sat at the popular kids' table because I was fairly, like, I was, you know, fairly po as you know, popular as you can be in elementary school. I mean, there's, it's, it's kind of distorted there, but yeah. Yeah. still. So I just sat with the popular kids, and um, the, like, the first thing I do whenever they sit down is to go, do you know what a vibrator is? And I'm in sixth grade, so I don't know what a vibrator is, <laughs> but they had recently come out with these, like, packs that you put on your Game Boy Advance. Where they would like make it vibrate, like with the cartridge. <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah, I know what a vibrator is. It's the thing that makes your Game Boy car your Game Boy vibrate. And they're like, ah, you don't know what a vibrator is. And then Bogan never sat at the cool table again. I never did actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time I ever sat with them at lunch because I was too embarrassed because I didn't know what a vibrator is. <laughs> <laughs> then they're like, uh, do you know what a dildo is? And I'm like... Were there, were there both girls and boys at this popular kids' table? No, only boys. Okay. Whenever I first heard this story, I thought there were girls there, too. And I'm like, this is a little <laughs> bit strange. Like, <laughs> The girls are like, you want to see my vibrator? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the sixth grade hooker ring so, started. Sorry, I'm using it right now. Maybe in a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I had it in me during school. Gotta get, gotta get through the day somehow. I remember there was one story of like whenever we were in, uh, I think it was like eighth grade or something, where a girl like took a hot dog from the, um, you guys know where this is going probably from the cafeteria, and she like went to the bathroom with it and like started using it as a dildo, I guess, and then it got cut off inside her, so she like split inside her, I guess. <laughs> so she had to go to the emergency room or something. Uh, <laughs> that might have been completely made up, but that's I heard that story quite a few times. 
Wow. I imagine that's made up. Yeah, but, but still. But that's still, fucking hilarious. Awesome. Chanel Hef. I know, I know that this <laughs> actually, I know this actually, <laughs> there was um, a girl when I was in high school and she was like really weird and she started like fingering herself in homeroom one day. Like, like in the middle of like homeroom. Like in the middle class with people around her. How, when was this again? She was like a sophomore. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> what? Did she the was, teacher say like, she was, stop that. She was really weird. see me after class. <laughs> <laughs> He did I guess he like didn't see her or something, but like she <laughs> Oh several, he saw her. <laughs> several, several times people have seen her like just like like rub herself through her pants and stuff. She's so weird. Is she hot? No, not at all. Not, not in the business? slightest. No, but did she, she looks like she could be. Oh was she there when I was there at Rights? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think of who you're talking about. You probably don't know who it is. Probably no. It wasn't in our grade. Oh, she wasn't? No. Oh, I thought, I thought she was. Nope. Man, you know what's really weird now that I think about it? So, I went to middle school with one of my friends, Alex. Not you, Alex, sorry. Yeah. Um, and I actually know who you're talking about. Yeah. He, okay, I don't want to say his last name. I think I should. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, we know who you're talking about. Well, I mean, it, the name is the important thing. Anyway, somebody in the grade below him had the exact same name. And I thought it was also weird, because now that I think about it, there were two instances of that. There's this girl, Danielle, that we worked with. Yeah. There's another Danielle that was in the grade above her, which was my grade. Yeah. And I don't know. I thought that was really weird how that happened, where there are four people in a middle school that have the same name, and they're a grade different. And I remember, like, <laughs> there were multiple times that both those people were called out as the other person. So, like, my friend was called out for, like, they called his his mom and was, like, saying how he, like, uh, was slapping girls or something like that, like on the face or something, and like yelling at them. And <laughs> she was like, "What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know Alex to do that. What the hell's going on?" And then she like went to the the school and everything, and apparently it was the different Alex. Yeah, the other guy was a complete douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like the weirdest motherfucker I've ever met in my life. I remember he like talked in class one day for 30 minutes about overactive saliva glands and how it makes him drool all the time and he spits in people's faces on accident because he has this overactive saliva glands and he keeps talking like this without really coming to a point or anything that really fucking matters just rambling 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 maybe he's no part reason. pitbull do they salivate <laughs> Pitbull. Well, it kind of sounds like Pitbull's yeah, rapping yeah it kind of sounds like Pitbull's rapping yeah all right. <laughs> all right. not getting anywhere there's a correlation. Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I actually, I write several times. They got a, they did get like, they caught one and then. Yeah, the, the other. other. Yeah. How fucking hard is that to do? For one, I'm sure they have middle names that are different. And for two, they're in different grades. Like, let's, let's get with the picture. Yeah, I, I just imagine them like, uh, on the intercom, like, Al Alex Blah Sr., <laughs> <Senior>. <laughs> Alex Blah Jr. <laughs> Alex us. Blah Freshman. <laughs> well, he does this. have like the most common name ever. Yeah. It's so. No, it's not. It's not Smith. So. It's not Smith. I wasn't here for this story, but I think Alex needs to tell the story of one of our when our principal had um rights. Oh, oh. Over the intercom. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, so we have a teacher named uh. What the fuck just happened? No, we're good. Okay. That was weird. That was weird. It was scrolling. It was scrolling. Okay. And it resets because it's open. <laughs> we just looked at the the wave files because of the wave sign. I just almost had like an epileptic seizure or something. And Bogan was freaking the fuck out. Okay. Uh, Alright. So we have um, our principal at our high school was a bit, uh, she was a bit slow. In all honesty. <laughs> Both in like movement and in thought. She was really fat. She had a waffle maker in her office. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's justification. She had a waffle maker. Oh, well, I, get it, I get it. I get it. She's that fat. I was trying to clarify how fat. Like, that fat. Okay. Hey, like, would you have a waffle maker in your office? You have Did she have a panini maker? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, because then she'd be just, like, a heavily obese. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, and we have a teacher named Mr. Now, and his first name is, right. uh, Richard. And you know, like how a lot of especially older people they shorten Richard to Dick, and so she she announces over the intercom, 
We need Dick now in the office. Dick now in the office. No, I thought you said she used to say she was like, I need Dick in my office. I need Dick in my office. No, it's or Dick now because oh. his last name's now. <laughs> well, that's still like saying, I need Dick right now in my office. Yeah, I need Dick right now in my office. <laughs> she just forgot the right. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. And everyone's like, did she, did she really just announce that? <laughs> She, she couldn't have even said, like, Richard now or anything. Nope. Or Dick now. Oh, my gosh. We need Dick now in the office. I, somebody should have got up there and just, like, whipped out their dick. And been like, oh, there, you there you go. Now, here it is. Are you going to give it to her? <laughs> I wouldn't want to give it to her. No. We no. always said that, like, you might lose yourself. I was always afraid that one day she was going to call me down there and make me make a wall. <laughs> that's for the worst the kids. That, that, that's, or she, that's when you're extra bad. She, or she just has like everybody's name in a bucket. And it becomes like sexual because that's like what she does. <laughs> she's eat. She's, she's like, like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, you naughty boy. Well. Yeah, you put chocolate it. chips in there. Yeah. Ah. you're a naughty boy. <laughs> put those chocolate <laughs> chips in there. I like it, dog. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You know, she finally got fired. She didn't get fired, she quit. Yeah, still, she's out of there finally. Did she take it with her or did she have to leave it? I'm assuming she took it with her. <laughs> well, I'm assuming someone else took it with her. She probably couldn't care anything more than her own weight. Yeah. Well, that's an achievement, I think, right? <laughs> I've gotten so fat, I can only was, hold myself. Was, she wasn't in, like, a rascal electric scooter or whatever, was she? No, she had to have a cane, though, for, like, for the last couple of years. And then, I think that that's And then our year, she had to use, like, crutches, like, when you break your leg. She had to use those little arm crutches. Did she break her leg? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I think that's really annoying whenever I see fat people using, like, the electric scooters or whatever at, like, Walmart or something. Yeah. Like, seriously? Give me a fucking break. And we're in the fattest oh. city in the world, apparently. Oh, I just realized, I just remembered a story. This happened at work the other day. All right, so I had some customers come up. This was yesterday, I think, actually. I just forgot to tell you guys the story. So um, I had some customers come up, and one of them was riding the little, like, electric park thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was kind of, like, iffy on it. And uh, he and uh, he comes up, and he hears another one of my coworkers singing, and he's, like, laughing. And then he's like, he's like hey, you want to hear something funny? You want to hear something else funny? He goes, he goes I'm not handicapped. But I came here in a wheelchair, so that way no one's gonna uh, no one's gonna make me get the fuck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So they like apparently they like have a wheelchair and they'll just like wheel him up and then store <laughs> it up there and get in the electric cart and ride it around, <laughs> even though he's not handicapped. So that way he can uh, he can claim he is, and no one will make him get out of it. Wow, it's wow. a genius. I wish I wish they had that for handicapped parking too. What do you guys think of handicap parking, by the way? I think for some it's justified. Uh, for fat people, they can go fuck yeah, off. Yeah, for fat people, they can fuck off. For people who actually need it, it's yeah. good. Honestly, I don't, I don't really see the point because it's just a, a few hundred more steps, maybe. And if you're in, yeah, but those few hundred steps are also like if it's like icy. Well, I mean, or, like, yeah, I, guess I don't, I don't think point. it's really necessary in like small parking lots, but in like, yeah, imagine like, like Disney World. Or like yeah. Walmart. Or yeah, you, you can't, you can't, you can't really justify being like, oh, you're like a really old person that has like a, uh, arthritis and le various leg disorders and replacement knee. Here, you need to walk a mile. To yeah, get that in is here. that is a good. Point. So I think it also is kind of relative to the size. Like even like Walmart, if it's like really busy, or people in a parking wheelchair. all the way in the back, or people in a wheelchair, they don't want to wheel themselves a mile. I mean, that's just it's kind probably of electric, but still, it's kind of obnoxious. Yeah. All right, I've seen a few places where they have like uh, moms to be like pregnant women parking. I think that's kind of weird. That is what weird. the? F I, I see that at the hospital, but that's it. No, I've seen it at. Uh, I'm trying to think where exactly. I feel like it was at like a movie theater, maybe not ours, but uh, somewhere. I don't know. I, I feel was... like this. We're getting like we're crossing the line between just handicap. Yeah, I mean, the give fuck? them a handicap sticker, right? Like, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> but, oh, okay, you're handicapped, you're not pregnant? Okay, you can't park here. Because you, there's no way you can, like, find the person if they park there. Because, like, nobody has, like, a mom to be expecting or, you know, whatever sticker. Uh, I know one time, though, I went to the mall in West Lafayette, Purdue. 
and uh, they had like a fitting room that you weren't allowed to go into unless you were handicapped or um, pregnant. No, it was in Chicago actually. They you you just weren't allowed to be in it. So like it, it could have been crowded as fuck, and they wouldn't let people in there. Oh, I got I got some. Did he show Jim okay. So obviously the handicap stall is best stall. In the yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we all agree on this. Has yeah, anyone ever felt them. really self-conscious? Like, really? Is anyone really afraid every time they use it that some handicapped person's gonna walk in and they're gonna be that asshole? That's that actually them? happened to me. Oh, God. That's happened to me, and I was like, I was just, I walked in, I was like, sorry. He's like, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> this guy was like 30, or like 40. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. You probably needed this. And I, he was like, no, it's cool, man. He <laughs> should have walked out and like, started limping a little bit as soon as he saw him. Just been like, <laughs> oh, 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 what happened uh, to you, man? Uh, my, my leg hurts. <laughs> at, uh, at my university, I was always worried that that's going to happen to me. So when I'm on, because there's actually like a good amount of like handicapped people. So mm-hmm. when I'm on the main floor, I don't use them. But if I'm on the second floor, I figure that they're not as likely to be up there. <laughs> so then I'll use them. They have elevators. <laughs> I'm not joking. Though. <laughs> In the library, I'm like, ah, I've never seen a handicapped person be on the second floor of the library. So I'm like, I'll just use it there. Oh, my God. It's, it's tactics. You gotta plan this stuff like, out. What are they gonna do in the second floor? That's not on the first floor. Get books? No one gets books in our library. <laughs> they can get them all online. They go <laughs> use the computers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just saying. I think I've maybe felt that once or twice where I'm like, man, what if somebody needed this? Then I just get over it. Do you have any fun stories? No, not that I can think of right now. Uh, I'll just tell a joke, I guess. It's not really a joke, but I don't really know what we could discuss about it. Okay. All right. Well, actually, I, I have to present it as a question. So, Aaron, if I sing at work, does that uh, does that make me a semi-professional singer? Yes. <laughs> 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 Why? I don't... Uh, I'm not being paid to sing, but I am being sing and being paid. So... I am being seen. Let me put... Wait, hold on. I just no. said, I am being seen. I'm, no, you're done there. You're being seen. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> so, if somebody has sex while they're on the clock, are they a semi-professional prostitute? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works like that. I think that that's, that's just that's, called being a terrible employee. That's not, a, <laughs> that's not a new life goal of mine, become a semi-professional prostitute. I think Adam already has, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. Milk Multiple dude. times. Dudes fucked up or getting fucked. Milk, good way. Milk, milk gets so it. much pussy. <laughs> he became milk one. Gets all the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you are what you eat, milk. <laughs> Wait, he eats himself? He eats pussy. Great joke, Brock. Ah! Yeah. Yes. I'd Ooh. like a side of picky with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so terrible. What? Uh, n- never mind, just go. <laughs> no, never mind, never mind. Just, uh, just, right, no, no, what'd you say? No, no. Did you say pickles? No. no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. All right, let me, let me preface the story. So there's this girl that um, I met through one of my friends, uh, and then we saw her a few weeks later, let's say, at Steak and Shake, and this was like a year ago that no, I met her. Old Charlie's. No, no, no. no, no this uh, was a year ago that I met her. And, uh, I mean, she knew my name, and I knew her name, and we just, like, went every once in a while, like, hey, what's up, whenever I saw her. But then I, you know, I went, I went back to school, which is like four hours away from here for the, the next year. And then I come back this summer, and we see her working at O'Charlie's, and she's like, "Brock, is that you?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, hey." And I knew she was. I like, I, I knew, I know who she is. It's just I, I don't know her name. I just can't, I can't figure out her name. But anyway, so uh, after we started talking a little bit, um, we were at O'Charlie's. It was all the four of us that are normally in the podcast, and. Uh, then we like you hang out outside the podcast. <laughs> yeah. This isn't just uh a podcast, a podcast only for friendship. <laughs> yeah. Um but anyway, so then she comes back to take our food order and uh Bogan becomes difficult. And uh I uh I had asked for like I asked for like a burger and I'm like, hold this and this and this and this and this. Yeah, he's and, being so and then I was like being it. really picky and like and then I'd like a side of picky with that. Cause I didn't, I didn't, I thought it just came with fries, cause that's what it says on the menu. And yeah. she's like, "A side of what?" <laughs> and I'm like, uh, uh, nothing. No, 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 never mind. And she's like, "No, did you say pickles?" And I'm like, 
N- no, no, no. I, I, I made a, I made a bad joke. <laughs> and then everybody else in our group was just like, "What did you say?" Like none of us got it either. <laughs> <laughs> like Brock was even like, "No, I heard you. I just didn't get it." And I was like, "No, I heard, I heard you afterwards when you repeated it. I just didn't get it then." I'm like, "Aside of picky, like, I, I thought of Tommy Pickles. I think from Rugrats. I didn't think <laughs> I didn't the understand. Fuck? I didn't understand the joke." <laughs> <laughs> it Not was every joke's awesome. a hit, folks. <laughs> I know I'm comedic gold on here. Every word I say, even this word and that word. Even the words I have to fucking censor. Those are pretty fun. Yeah. Censor. That was two. One time I'm just going to leave them in. <laughs> and then we're going to lose one view on the next <laughs> podcast. We're going to lose one view on the next one. <laughs> <sighs> For anyone who really sits through this whole thing, good job to you. There's Anybody sure. who sits through all of our we need to, we need to have a word. Okay, if you sat through this whole thing, what's a word they can comment? Bananas. Banana gram. Banana, banana gram. <laughs> all right, comment banana gram somewhere in your comment. I think Phil listens to the whole thing. One of my friends from Purdue. Love you, Phil. We need I, to have like a code want to be a with all of our podcasts. Does he want to what? Does he want to be a philosopher? No, he's really like a genius when it comes to like physics stuff. So like. Oh, real li- real scale. real life physical stuff it's like pretty close <laughs> like <laughs> he's like he's taken like paintball guns from like literally just the parts each individual part and put it together to make a gun and like he's done like all this stuff and he's like makes it his own it's like custom completely and all this stuff and it's just like phil i don't know how you fucking do that he's pretty amazing brock was a mechanical engineer he would have a job <laughs> <laughs> well there's so many more jobs for mechanical engineers why don't you do mechanical engineering, bro? Fuck that shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I don't want to be a mechanical engineer. I want chemistry. Does anybody else have anything else to talk about? Why are you texting on the podcast? Sorry. What the fuck you doing, bro? No problem. <laughs> What's your yeah. problem? Okay. Um, I have this really bad problem where I, I just don't text people back. Do you guys ever do that? Yeah. Where you just no. like... <laughs> I guess it's because whenever... I'm going to sound old, but whenever I grew up, I didn't have texting. I didn't have texting till sophomore or junior year. Yeah. I didn't have it till like eighth grade. I, I didn't have it till like. No, I had, I had it between eighth grade and freshman year. So I have this problem where, like, if I see a text, I'll just be like, I'll do it later. And then I forget. And I, I don't know. My friends might feel bad because I don't respond to them. So I feel bad. I like, just, yeah, just, I, it's like that. It's like a, that one picture thing with the guys, like, whenever my friend doesn't text me back, sorry I bothered you with our friendship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'd rather to be in my situation though than like you have to text at all times even when it's super oh, yeah. fucking inconvenient. Yeah. It's like waiting in line. Ah, oh, I gotta respond to this text. I don't know. Those people are fucking. Annoying. I just usually remember. I, I usually. I just have I, bad. If memory, I don't I text back, it's because I'm not paying attention to my phone. Yeah. And, and whenever Aaron doesn't text me back, I'm just assuming he's playing Minecraft or something. But yeah. Because I'll have, <laughs> like, I'll have my phone on the floor and I'll be laying on my couch. And since I always keep it on vibrate, if Alex or somebody texts me, I'll just be like... Well, it's not always on vibrate. Not always. It's but most like, of the time. When it is, I won't text him back for like four or five hours. I'll be like, Aaron, you want to go get lunch? And then it's like... <laughs> Dinner? <laughs> Dinner? Question. <laughs> what? There's not a deer here anymore. Mm. No killed it. Milk's a great hunter. <laughs> what the hell? His DPS is amazing. It's, it's my phone freaking out. His DPS meter is just off the charts. He's even his licking lick, his licking his ass meter is also off the charts. <laughs> I know. Found the perfect time, milk. He's like, nah, it's just looking at my tail, dude. My roommate last semester was just absolutely like appalled by his how he can move his leg, like stick it like straight up in the air, like how cats can do. Yeah. yeah. He's just he's like, quit doing that. That's that's weird. <laughs> quit doing it. <laughs> Stop it, man. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you did that. First year I couldn't because uh, you have to. Well, you don't have to, but you usually live in those arms and you're not allowed to. But uh, second year I lived in an apartment that allowed pets, and next year I have another apartment that allows pets. Oh, so Neil, so when people come visit, visit milk when you're gone. <laughs> well, I put the pipe down so you wouldn't be able to get in any. Break in. You could just you would just sit outside and watch him. <laughs> yeah, just put my hand up against the window. <laughs> be like, come here. <laughs> his hand up against the glass and puts his paw. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so freaking cute. I'd like take a picture of that. Like my life's complete. You can make it one of your backgrounds. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but my frog's like, have you changed your backgrounds yet? I'm like, no. <laughs> They're all still like girlfriend. Have you changed your Facebook? 
relationship yes, I did. status. That's I did. important. And I changed my picture too. I have not checked. I, I check Facebook maybe like once or twice a month. I usually end up checking it like once a day, but there's nothing on it, so then I just get off. I'm gonna send you a message seconds. every day now. <laughs> <laughs> you can poke me. Yeah, go for it. Poke your grandma. Oh, it was a really funny story, actually. So, uh, my grandma got a Facebook. And just to tell you how um, internet retarded she is, she ha- she got a cell phone. And it's like one of those, sh- like, flip phones that she doesn't have, like, a plan. Like, she has a plan with us, but she doesn't have, like, any sort of internet plan at all. And she, like, somehow, in some way, got on there and charged, like, 30 to $50 to her phone, like, for cooking recipes or something like that. Like, completely on accident apparently i don't know how she does it but she did and she's like on the internet all the time even though she doesn't even know how to like answer the phone sometimes so yeah i don't know she she was really uh internet illiterate um but anyway so she doesn't know how to do the internet yeah what she got a facebook because my sister set it up for her and uh she just wants to like to check up on you know us and I guess my mom, because my mom has a Facebook, too. Just, like, talk to us there, too. And uh, <laughs> apparently what happened was, one time I was at my grandma's house, and I, like, logged in on my Facebook on there. And then I guess I just didn't log off, and it had the remember me check she or whatever. Tried to get off on so she, every time she got on Facebook, she was on my Facebook and didn't even know it. So she'd go and, like, like my statuses and stuff. And it'd be me liking my own <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember doing this. This looks really conceited. I don't know what's going on. And like that happened for like a good six to seven months. And then I came back or something. And my sister looked at my grandma's uh, computer and she's like, Brock signed into here. That's really weird. He hasn't been over here for a really long time. And then and then we figured it out that my grandma's been on my Facebook. So <laughs> it's up. She didn't find out anything else. Like, I'm sure Here's she would that nude pic you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. She's like, "What the fuck?" That is. That's she's, pretty funny, actually. <laughs> and then a lot of times, whenever she like, she'll comment on stuff, which is I'm pretty surprised. Wait, did she, she ever? That. Did she ever comment on your own status? No, like, that, like she was she your grandma. Didn't. That would have been the best. That would have. I love best. you too, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes she'll comment on my stuff and it's like all in caps, so it looks like she's like yelling, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then I, she sent one, and then she like talked to me on the phone or something. She's like, Did you get my Facebook uh, message thing? And I'm like, Yeah, you, you typed in all caps. I thought you were yelling at me. <laughs> so she's like, I just don't understand how to do that. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I was like, I was like, like, could you just not see it if it's, an all, if it's not all caps? I guess she just didn't. I don't know. I don't know how you can't notice that. But it's really funny whenever, well, like... she did, but, like, I don't know why you wouldn't see it and be like, wait a second. My parents are better at texting now, but they didn't really get texting until, like, I got texting. Yeah. And, uh, they would always just call each other before. And so then they got texting. They started texting them. But it's, like, so funny when they text, because they'll text, like, they'll have, like, a sentence, and they won't have a period, and they'll just have, like, my dad will have, like, just, like, no period, and then, like, six spaces. And then, like, the <laughs> next sentence, it'll just nice. have words randomly spaced apart, like you know, three or four extra spaces for no real reason. <laughs> well, do any of them have the, uh, like, electronic keyboard, not, like, a physical? No, they all have the physical. Okay. Because that would be even but worse, they use, I'm sure. They use, like, oh, God, where am I? Oh, wait, they can't see it anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. This, uh, <laughs> they have, like, um, the slide up. Like, they the, have one that's, like, like mine, except that has, like, the buttons on the front. Oh, okay, yeah. And... They use the buttons instead of using the keyboard, even though they have a keyboard. Uh, I guess it is kind of simpler to do it that way. Do any of you guys type with the home keys? Uh, kind of, yeah. No, I just, I don't know. Well, my way of typing is weird. Like advanced picking? Yeah. At least a few fingers. I, I do, I kind of like, do, I use like three on each hand. Mm. I think I usually just use like six. Yeah, I, I had to take a keyboard in class, so I learned homebrew. I was gonna take. I a took a keyboard key- in class, but I was just like, "It's fucking stupid." What, what was like the highest? You, did you did you pass all your things? Yeah, like, okay. I passed it all, but then I was just like, "This is fucking stupid." Well, like with my even the way I type, my words per minute is like, you know, decent. What like what's it at? Do you know? It's like two hundred, I think. Two hundred. What the fuck? That's super fast. Yeah, that's like retarded fast, like. The highest anyone ever got, like, ever in my keyboarding class, the highest anyone ever got was, like, 160. And that's in, like, 17 years. I guess I'm a beast. I think I'm up to, like... I, I could be... I think I'm around, like, 60 words maybe, per minute. Maybe it was, like, 200 letters a minute or something like that. 
Mm. Or two. There, I know there is something that's like 200 like keystrokes a minute. Okay. Mm. I don't know what it was. I, I could do, um, I was at like about like 105 EWPM, which is what we measured in, which was effective words per minute. So like K doesn't count? Yeah. It's like uh, it averages it out and it has to be like oh, four like letters over. four yeah. letters in a space. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, or not, I guess not I guess there's like letters. five characters, but so it's like every five characters. By the but way, it it takes off for backspacing and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So like every time you backspace. So you can you get like lowers. negative negative words from Yeah, you could, you could have, you could have <laughs> let's just backspace. Yeah, if you like if you're really bad and you backspace a lot, you could go into the negatives. Wow, that sucks. Uh, by the way, how do they judge in StarCraft effective actions per minute? I'm not sure what the difference is. I, think, <laughs> I mean, I think like, just, I understand the difference, but, like, I don't know how they measure it. Because, see, like, if you click five times okay. in the same spot, yeah. you'd only count one. Well, there's a box. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think that's just, I'm assuming that's what it is. It's, like, if you, like, click too much in the same area or just yeah. spam the same commands over and over. It's yeah, just, maybe it's that. I just feed them all the time. Maybe besides being shit. adorable... Yeah, last night I found out that milk will not eat whenever his food's been sitting in there for a while, and so you have to put new food in there every once in a while so it'll eat. No, I mean, after a while he'll eat it. It's just he, he didn't really have that much in his bowl at all at that time. It was a prima donna. He only took like three bites. Yeah. He had more than enough food left in his bowl. <laughs> He's just a prima donna. Maybe. He's like, I love the pampered life. He doesn't, he doesn't like it whenever, so like, you know... Cats will bite into it and they don't eat the whole thing, so like crumbs will come out of their mouth or whatever, and then in the bowl, he doesn't eat those. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't. I don't know. He's Milk. a pre Madonna. Milk's just too badass for that, I guess. Living the high life. Alright, does anybody else talk about Nope, I do not. And banana grams. Banana grams. Yeah, comment banana grams. Don't forget. So I guess we're going to end it because it's kind of getting hot and I want to turn it. Yeah. So. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed our fun little stories that we told. Uh, don't forget Bananagrams. And have a good day. Peace. You guys can say bye too. Bye. Bye. bye.